Hello, hello. Good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to talk about the gray area of your hairdressing career. And that gray area is specifically the time between you graduating beauty school and to the time to where you're actually making a living working behind the chair. It usually takes about four years. Sometimes three, sometimes five, but usually about four years. And that's where most hairdressers fail and die and can't make a living from hair. And it, I don't believe it's because they don't have the passion or the drive or the desire. I think it's they don't have the knowledge that they need to know. Beauty school doesn't prepare you in all the ways that you need to be prepared in order to make a living behind the chair. You need to, to learn a lot of other things. So how are we going to figure out those things in order to make a living working behind the chair? Well, first thing, I would go and find a mentor. If you can find someone in your town, your area, online, there's plenty of people online that are willing to help, uh, find a mentor that will coach you on how to talk to a client, how to translate what types of hopes and dreams they have for their hair, how to, to do a quality shampoo, how to improve your technical skills, how to improve all the things that you need to improve in order to be able to attract a clientele find somebody go up humbly ask anybody that you can find that's already making a living don't ask someone who's not making a living that would be like the blind leading the blind so first thing find someone who is successful and do what they're doing ask them have them show you coach them try to apprentice under them try to assist under them find a place that you can go if you can't if you're in a, a small town and you can't find a place like that another way is you go online the internet is full of great places that can provide really really good knowledge now that being said it's also full of a lot of bullshit that is providing you with terrible knowledge so how do you know what you don't know well you don't you try to stick to the ones that have a good reputation hairbrained is great for that um, myhairdressers.com out of England is great for that they provide a lot of information hairbrained is a lot more social than I think my hairdressers is which my hairdressers has a lot of like technical information but hairbrain has a lot of social factor to it that can really help in a lot of different ways especially networking so go find great places go look on YouTube eh. go look all over the place and try to find stuff that inspires you the third thing you need to do and this goes without saying is you have to practice you have to hone your skills you have to constantly think about it you have to analyze and study because once you get out of school you have not arrived that is like the initiation process welcome to the industry you know Johnny now let's get to work you've got a long way to go baby a long way to go you have to practice the fundamental skills that will take a lifetime to master you have to practice all different types of things so the key is to practice 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 Go find a video someone has done. You know, maybe one of mine, maybe one of DJ's, maybe one of you know Douglas's. Anybody that's quality, find a video that of a haircut that they've done that you like. Get a doll head and practice and practice and practice and practice over and over and over until you get it. It takes a long time. There, there's no shortcuts. You know, when you see someone that has a shortcut to success, it's usually kind of fluff and smoke and mirrors and it's not true skill. So that will get you so far, but for longevity, you have to gain the skill and the knowledge that it takes to be successful. That skill and knowledge is gonna come from practice. No other way. You know, like when, when I do something, people will say, you know, why? how do you section so easy? Well, because I've practiced it. I have had a doll head in front of me and I have practiced sectioning over and over and over and over and over hours and hours of hours of just sectioning. It's not fun, but it's something that needs to be done and you have to have enough discipline to go and do what needs to be done. If you do that, that will help you get over this hump of the gray area get over and through that and once you get past it, then you'll look back and say, oh yes. I see what I didn't know and now I know. Practice. Find a mentor. Interact online. Don't be afraid. And another thing I want to cover is allow yourself the time to fail before you judge yourself. When you first do something, you're going to think, oh my God, that shit, I should just stop. No. 
allow yourself to be bad in order to be good later on. You have to practice. I mean, growing up, all my friends, they had no hair. Why? Because I cut it all the time. I'd find a girl, I'd start dating her, she'd have hair to here, and then it was to here, and it was to here, and it was here, 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 all within a couple of months because I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. And it pays off in the long run. So please, practice your craft, study, interact, be social. I'll see you soon. Thank you.
and the world was just a place for the beat to create the mood and the feelings.
dance music began And the world was just a place For the beat to create The mood and the feelings <laughs> 